Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. I'm Richard Osman all week. I've been joined by four famous faces. We've had three days already. They've all been won by the same person. We'll find out who that is in a moment. At the end of the week, someone is going to walk off with this trophy here. Who are our players? They are Kerry Godleyman. Hello. Radzi Chinyanganya. Ebony Rainford Brent. And Hal, three time winner, Cruttenden. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hal, what a week we're having. Yes. It's essentially, everyone in the studio against you. Exactly. Uh, but do you know what? <laughs> on the first day, you, you won by a lot, but the yeah. last two days, you've only won by one point from Radzi. I know, it's been really, really tight. I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling it now. I almost need to lose. I think. Oh, <laughs> listen. Then I'll come back Friday. You are <laughs> preaching to the choir. <laughs> <That's my> <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ebony, shall we take a look at the weekly leaderboard as it stands? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Kerry and Ebony down the bottom, four and five. Radzi still within three points of Hal. Radzi, yes. two shows in a row now, you've come within one point of Hal. Some good quizzing, some good buzzer technique. How can we just take that one extra step? I'll be honest, I think I may have peaked early. Radzi, with respect, you haven't peaked at all. <laughs> 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 Great point. It's difficult to refute. I long to peak. Yeah. <laughs> Kerry. Now, Hal has won three prizes already, including yesterday he walked oh. off with the... Uh, literally walked off with the House of Games wheelie suitcase, which That's everybody up wanted. There. That was it really is up there. He's now calling them presents, not even prizes. Yeah. He, wants he wants them wrapped. He wants them wrapped. It's genuine. It's like my birthday. <laughs> uh, Kerry, this here are week. today's prizes. If you were to win today, you could take home one of these. There is the House of Games onesie, uh, there's a wash bag, there is an alarm clock, there's a memory stick, and there is the fondue set. Fondue set? It's a really good one. Are the 80s back? Yes. <laughs> yes. You fancy that? Yes, 100%. It's a, it's a really good one. Let's play, shall we? Who's going to win 30s House of Games? Only one way to find out. Let's play round one. <laughs> the answers in the question. I will go down the line. I'm going to show you a question and the answer is contained within it. In the question, you'll see a bit of it is in capital letters, and that's an anagram of the answer. Oh, OK, oh. let's have a little look at the category for the first questions, and it is... Animated films. So we're going to give you a clue to an animated film, and the answer will be an anagram of the capitals in this question, OK? Kerry, here's yours. Though others find the hero of this tale hideous, Belle doesn't seem to be that nauseated by him. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Wow. Are we starting oh, with the point? Well we are starting with the point. Very well done, Kerry. Beauty that and the Beast. That is great. Right, that's what right, a relief. Radzi, here is yours. Only the hero of this 1963 film could remove Excalibur, although others showed intent. That looks like a sword in the stone. Is it the sword in the stone? <laughs> of course it is. Well done, Radzi. Well done. Nice to done, Ebony. Yeah, I'm not feeling great here, but let's, let's just get to it. This classic film may have been influenced by Hamlet, but when it comes to animated musicals, there's nothing like it. Oh, God, you're looking like you know it already. Do you, you know it. Do I know it? You know it. No. Oh, yeah. no, why am I just not working? Should we time you out, Ebony? Yeah. You can buzz in. There's a buzzer race here between Kerry and Radzi. <laughs> That is Radzi. I do not ever win those buzzer races, <laughs> no. do I? <laughs> Radzi. I think it's The Lion King. It is oh, The Lion King. Knew it. The Lion oh. King. How? Here's your animated film. Despotic chief General Woundwart only wanted worship, but he got his comeuppance when fighting a farm dog. I think it's Watership Down. Watership Down, says Hal, did you quite right. Point to Hal, well played, Watership Down. We'll go back down the line. Kerry, your new category is... Agatha Christie Works. While Poirot was on holiday in an African nation, he led the investigation into a series of grisly murders. Death on the Nile? It is yeah. Death on the Nile. Radzi, Radzi, here is yours. And the suspects, what if the Rev recruited them, Agatha thought, whilst pondering the latest plot twist in this Miss Marple story? 
I mean, I'm tempted just to say, time me out now. No one? So I tell you what I think it is, only because of the V. I was wondering if it's murder at the vicarage. Oh, yeah. Is it murder it is. at the vicarage? Yes, it is. Murder mm. at the vicarage. Well, well, sure that that thank you. <laughs> thank you. I should have buzzed in. <laughs> should have buzzed in. Ebony. The lines of this long-running play haven't been altered for decades, but the actors who spout them are ever-changing. I'm just trying to rearrange words here. Um, or letters, even. I'm out. No, it's your time you're out. We're going to have a little buzzer race here between Hal and Kerry. <laughs> Kerry wins. Aww. Kerry does win it. Kerry. Mousetrap. The mousetrap is the right answer. Well done. And the final question in this round goes to Hal. What is the answer to this, please, Hal? The discovery of a butchered Mrs. Alice Asher is one of the first signs that a killer is on the loose in this Poirot mystery. <laughs> I haven't a clue. Butchered Mars, I think, is the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, the... Should we time you out, Hal? Yeah, I think so. I haven't got a clue. Anyone else? You got this one at home? <laughs> Shall I tell you? It's the ABC murders. Oh. oh. ABC murders. Should we take a look at the scores <laughs> no. here, Ebony? Uh, <laughs> Should we take a look? Yeah, maybe we can skip this bit. <laughs> here we go. Here's the scoreboard. Ebony starts with the duck again. Hal, yes, you have one. Yeah. Rad Hang two. On. Uh, Kerry Godley Merlin is our leader. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Beautiful to see. Special. Oh, Strange. What's that I smell? <laughs> Fondue set. <laughs> <laughs> Please make it be so. Uh, what's our second round today? It is... <laughs> Distinctly Average, where it's a pairs game. Player in last place gets to choose their partner today, that is you, Ebony. Who would you like to play with? You played with Hal a couple of times, you played with Kerry. Yeah. Oh, Red that's yes. the stuff. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Ebony and Kerry, if you'll swap places, please. <laughs> yeah, you're informed. This is a good fun game. Is it? Tablets out, please, everybody. In this round, I'm going to ask you some questions. You're all going to write down your answer, but I'm going to take the average of each pair's answer. And whichever pair is closest wins a point. OK? So write down the answer to this, please. What was the total number of teachers working in state-funded schools in England in 2017? Ebony, what number have you gone with? 400,000. 400,000, says Ebony. Are you going up or down from that, Radzi? I'm going up significantly. 750,000. 50, could be right between them. So uh, your average, Radzi and Ebony, is 575,000. Kerry. Uh, 150,000. 150,000, says Kerry. I'd much more say wave because I oh, thought that there were 7 million pupils, and I tried to think oh, really? how many teachers. I think 200,000. Kerry and Hal, your average is 175,000. So 575,000 plays 175,000. How many teachers were there in the states on the schools in England in 2017, and which team has got the point? Oh, oh look at that. We were well out. Yes, thank you. Well done. Next question, everybody. Very good start there for Ebony and Radzi. In dollars, what price was paid for the world's most expensive comic book? A copy of Action Comics number no. one in a 2014 online auction. Hal, let's start with you. What do you think the price would be? I think I might have undershot. Because mm. the thing is, that you seem to go big on the last one. This is to be asked things that are surprisingly large. I've only got $120,000. $120. It's a comic book. <laughs> okay. I think Kerry might have gone either much bigger oh, or much smaller. Have you got... I've gone $2.5 million. Oh. $25 million? No, $2.5. Oh, $2.5 million. OK, well, <laughs> okay. the average will be something yeah. insane. Your average, Kerry and Hal, is $1,310,000. OK, what do you think at home? Is that somewhere close to where you are? Is it somewhere close to where you are, Ebony? No, I've gone low ball with 50000 because I 50, just think, 000. how could you spend more than, more than that? Like, it's just wrong, right? 
Right, I've so gone the gone. other end of the spectrum. I've gone five billion. And I'll tell you what, I genuinely think I've undershot that. So your average Radzi and Ebony, $2,525,000. Now, this was the first ever comic in which Superman appeared. OK, people are saying that. Now, let's find out the price of that comic and find out which pair has won the point. $3.2 million. Right. The, the <laughs> average is sensational both times. You're uh, really... Uh, yes. I'm all right with teamwork. Here we go. Last question. Two points so far to Radzi and Ebony in this round. What is the answer to this, please? In total, how many Oscar statuettes have been awarded since the Academy Awards began? Radzi, what have you gone with? I've just gone with, let's, it seems about 20 per year. Mm. And it's been about 100 Oscars as a complete guess. I don't watch it. Mm. And so I've gone, maybe it's a few less than 20. And so with that in mind, 1,700. 1,700. Ebony, up or down? Basically, I thought 60 years, I could be wrong, but I thought 60, yeah. 20 a year. Got me to 1,200 and added a few, so 1,250 is my number. 1,250, says Ebony. So your average is 1,475. Hal? I've overshot this time. I think okay. it's over 30 every year. Mm. So I'm going for 3,500. Kerry, up or down? I've gone 600. OK. Because I reckon they give out to about make sure we 40 win. or 50, <laughs> no. yeah. don't they? Because there's loads you don't see. So they show you the best actor, best actress. So they, and... they, they give away about 50, and so they've, they've done it for 12 years, you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I've really... I told you it was maths. I mean, this is so humiliating. <laughs> Should we take a look at your average? Kerry and Hal, 2,050, you are saying. Who has got the point? 3,140. <laughs> yeah, they give away it's sort of 35 to 40 a year, and it's been going since oh, 1927. Yeah, oh, it'd have been close. Yeah. Yeah. God, so we all got the... I thought it was like 1919, the first one. That is the end of that round. Ebony and Kerry, if you swap back places, no, it's I think we made a great team. Yeah, you were a great team. Good team. I still don't really know why 18 plus. Let's take a look, shall we, what that has done to the scores. Hal and Ebony, you have two points each. Ooh. We have joint leaders, and it is Kerry and Radzi with four points each. This is good, isn't it? Three rounds to go. Round three today is going to be... It's all in the name. We have made a series of questions here, or a series of answers, that are uh, contained in the letters of your names. OK? Oh. Uh, we will go down the line, fingers on buzzers. You get a point if you get any of these right. If the answer is based on your name, you get two points. The first two questions, the answers will be in the letters of the name Kerry Godleman. Here's your first question. The official residence of Russia's president. That is Kerry. The Kremlin. It is. You've got Kremlin in the name. That's good, isn't it? Two points. Next one is still Kerry Godleman. Two points for Kerry. She gets it. One point for anyone else. SI unit of mass. That is Radzi. KG kilogram. It is kilogram. Well done. The next ones up are based on Radzi's so Chinyanganya. <laughs> Here's your first one. Complementary negative and positive forces in Chinese philosophy. Oh. Oh. Yin and yang. Yin and yang. Got all of yin and yang in your head. <laughs> That's really cool. Next question. Welsh town near the mouth of the River Tavy that shares its name with a type of garment. How? Cardigan. Cardigan, well played. <laughs> Ebony, the next two are based on your name, so the answers will be in the name Ebony Rainford Brent. Here is your first one. One point for anyone, two points for Ebony. 1984 top ten single for Rufus and Chaka Khan. Yes, Kerry. Feel for you? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Should I tell you? Yeah. yeah okay. I think it's Ain't Nobody. Oh, How wow. about that? That 
that is a good, that is that cool. is a good thing to have in your name, isn't Rufus it? Rufus threw me off there. Yeah. Next one. Word represented by the letter F in the wood product MDF. <laughs> yes, Rancy. Fibre. Incorrect. How? <laughs> Fiberboard. <laughs> it is well done. Oh, yeah. How could be a big end to the round here for you because these are contained in your name. So if you buzz in, you get two points. BBC crime drama in which Idris Elba plays the titular detective. <laughs> yes, Radzi. Luther. Correct answer. Well done. Luther is in there. Next one. Great effort that gets its name from a mythological hero. Oh, how? No, I've messed it up. <laughs> um, Sorry, I have no. to have an immediate answer, I'm afraid. Anyone else? <laughs> Kerry. Herculean? Oh, wow. It oh, is. Yes. Well played, everybody. That's round three done. Let's take a look at what it's done to the scoreboard. Ooh. Ebony, you have two. How? You have five. Radzi with six. We have a leader out on our own. Kerry with seven points. Come on, Kerry. Let's play round four, shall we? Two rounds to go. It is super close at the top of the leaderboard here. Round four today is... Oh, I love this round. Question right this day off. Listen, our question right this are brilliant. You've seen some of the stuff they've been up to in today's show. Very, very smart. So occasionally I like to give them a day off, OK? Which is what I did on this particular day. And so they got their children to write the questions, oh. all right? All right, I'm going to show you... Uh, the name's up here. You're going to choose whose question you want to hear. So those are the kids there, different ages as well. Kerry, we will start with you, and we want you to choose a child to, whose question you want to answer. I'm going to go for the 12-year-old. OK, you're going to go for Kate. This is Kate's question for you, Kerry. How did Alexander III die? I'm trying to think if I've seen it in Horrible Histories. It's going to be one of those horrible deaths. Um, he was... ..stabbed in the face. He was not, I'm afraid... I mean, feel free if you want to. Ebony. Beheaded? Was he beheaded? Oh. He was not... How? Bore it. Trampled by a horse. He was not... Radzi. Poisoned? Oh. Kate, you defeated them all. <laughs> well done, Kate. <laughs> It was a stormy night right into the castle. He got separated from his group and fed off a cliff. Oh! His horse answer. was involved. Oh, his horse off a cliff. Point. Thank you, Kate. That's how Alexander really? yes, uh, Kate. died. Great question. Radzi, who would you like to choose? I'll go for Mika, who's seven, please. Mika, who is seven. Mika. Uh, here is Mika's question for you, Radzi. Why do plants get yellow leaves when it doesn't get the sun? Um, I'm going to say it's because without the sun, that's required in photosynthesis, and thus the cells and the chloroform do not like that because they need the heat plus CO2. To... Are you saying chloroform as your answer? Yes. OK. Not oh. Ebony. Is it because they don't have chlorophyll? Yes, it is, oh. Ebony. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't take it, Rezzy. Ebony, who would you like to go for? I would like to go for Cuba, cool name, and Ten's a good solid age. Cool, we're going Cuba. Yeah. Cuba says, what language does the boy band BTS speak? There's actually a boy band called BTS. Mm -hmm. I am so out of touch. <laughs> There's only one obvious answer, but I'm just... Sometimes they are obvious with these. You okay. never know where they're going, these well, people. I'm just going to say they speak English. <laughs> it's not how. I don't know, but I know this unusual boy band. Is it Korean? It's oh, Korean. Well done. Well done. Well done. 
from? Oh, something about a, for a Korean boy band. K-pop. It, yeah, it's massive. K-pop. Yeah, and it just made me go... They're no, huge everywhere big, in the world. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah insane. Pal, <laughs> who would you like to go with? Um, I'm going to stay high as well. Dom, who's 10. This is Dom's question for you, Hal. Yes. In Pokemon oh. Go, how oh, many different God. trainer teams are there? That's a good question. How you might have got him here, Dom. How many trainer teams are there? I think it's four. Oh, not, I'm afraid. Ebony? Just going to guess 12. Oh. It is not, I'm afraid. Radzi? Three. Oh! <laughs> well done, Radzi. <laughs> Kerry, who would you like to go for now? I'm curious. I'm going to go with the three-year-old. I'm going to go in the opposite direction now. I want Nola. You're going to go with Nola. Mm. This is Nola's question. <laughs> who is the stretchy mummy? Oh, I shouldn't have gone with the three-year-old. <laughs> Who is the stretchy mummy? Is it the mummy from Scooby-Doo or something like that? Is that what you want to say? The mummy from Scooby-Doo. It is not Hal. I don't know her exact name, Deb. Is it... It's Captain Incredible's wife. It's the... It's the oh! Mrs. Incredible. Mrs Incredible. <sighs> no, I mean... It's not right, is it? I, ha I, need, I need the proper name, I'm afraid. Oh. Yes, Redsy. Mummy Incredible. It's not Mummy Incredible. You all got the right person, but not the right name. You don't have to, Ebony. Don't I'm going to Ebony. say Mother Incredible. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it's not that either. No, yeah, it's worth a try. That sounds like a weird nun. <laughs> 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 the answer is, well done at home, she said, and well done, Nola, for giving us this question, Elastigirl. Oh! oh. oh. Well, Elastigirl. Brilliant question. Radzi, who are you going for? I'll go for Soul. You're going for Soul. What yeah. is Soul's question? Who is the tallest man that walked the earth? Who is the tallest man that walked the earth? OK, I think it's Robert Wadlow. Yeah, Interesting. Let's have a little look. Oh, he's only gone and got it, Sol. Ah. He's only gone and got it. Well played, Radzi. Well done, Sol. Ebony. Uh, two choices left. I think left. we had two left. Uh, I'm going to go for Harriet. Five-year-old Harriet. This is her question for you, Ebony. It's such a good question. You know the order of Harriet's, coins go in. Oh my Harriet's God. question is this. Do you know the order the coins go in? I'm going to say yeah, and then I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> yes. to just take this so as yes. literal as possible. <laughs> yeah, that... Yes. Yes, <laughs> and then I'm going to give them if I need to give them. Yeah, I think, I think, I think Harriet's going to want... Want some coins, coins. <laughs> OK. <laughs> One pence, five pence... Ten pence. Um, we're going to have to buzz you out immediately what? already, I'm afraid. Oh, so pence. sorry, Kerry. Oh, two! Oh, my God! How have I missed a two? <laughs> One <laughs> pence, two pence, five pence, oh. ten pence, twenty pence, fifty pence, pound coin. <laughs> two pound coin. Oh. <laughs> How did I miss two pence? Oh, just. I mean, just about giving you that. Just. It that was the lead in. I was like, correct answer, answer. Oh, correct answer Kerry. Very well played. Way. That's a Harriet, great question. Harriet, I let you down. That's a great <laughs> question. Well done, Harriet. Final question in this round. It, yeah, Raphael. Raphael. That's a great Hal name. For. Here is Raphael's question for you, Hal. What parts of the castle look like turned E's? I assume it's turrets. Oh. Not turrets. Anybody? Shall I tell you? Yeah. You fooled them all here, Raphael. Very well done. Did you fool everyone at home? Is crenellations. Oh, yeah. Crenellations. Oh, That's well what you need. Done. Raphael is going to rule the world. <laughs> he knows that word at six. That is the end of that round. Thank you so much to all the children for writing those questions. Let's take a look at what the scores are with one round to go on Thursday's House of Games. Ooh. Ebony, you have oh. three. Hal, you have six. We have joint leaders with one round to go. Radzi and Kerry have eight I points each. How about this? <laughs> One round to go. The final round, as always, is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Don't forget. Here we go. Your first category is... Dancers. You'll see pictures of dancers. Smash them into the clues underneath, please. Best of luck, everybody. This is super, super close. Which 1993 film stars Tom Hanks as widower Sam Baldwin? 
That is how. Wayne Sleepless in Seattle. It's well, the right answer. Good. Well done, Wayne Sleepless in Seattle. He's coming back at you. Next answer. Who played Blanche Hudson in the film Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Yes, that is how. Ashley Ban Joan Crawford. It is Ashley Ban Joan Crawford. Ashley Ban Joan Joan Crawford is your next category. Desserts. Oh. Best of luck. In computer science, what do the letters AI stand for? How? Oh. Treacle <laughs> artificial intelligence. It is well done. Wow. Next pudding. What type of graph displays proportional data in a circle divided into slices? Yes, Radzi. Lemon meringue pie chart. Lemon meringue pie chart is the right answer. Well done. Next category. No more categories. No more is he categories. Won? Is he won again? No, I haven't. Are I think it's either. I think Let's we're take level. a look, shall we? Know. Who has won on Thursday's House of Games? It's a tie. We oh, have aye. a tie break. Oh, oh, one no, no. tie break. <laughs> I can't take smash. this. <laughs> I'm so one yeah, I'm more up to smash on Sorry. the buzzers, gentlemen. Oh. One question right. to decide it all. <laughs> One more answer smash. Your category is going to be things at a leisure centre. That'll be the picture. There'll be a clue underneath. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you're the winner of today's show. If you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer, your opponent is the winner of today's show. OK? Wish you both the very, very best of luck. What is the answer here, please? What word is commonly used to denote someone reaching young adulthood in the early 21st century? That is Radzi. This is a bit of a guess, but I've just got to go for it at this stage. Tread milestone. <sighs> is incorrect, oh, I'm afraid. No. The win goes to Hal. Well, this is just showboating if you no, want. No, but to... tread millennials. Yeah, tread millennial I'm is the right oh, answer. Oh, tread mill and millennial. Oh. Every day gets closer, but our winner again is Hal Cundin. Wow, wow. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Oh, Radzi, oh. unlucky, but gutsy for to go for it. Thank Gotta you. Got to go for it. Hal, you've won yourself a fourth prize. What are you going to go for? I really want the onesie. OK, Hal, I'm going to give you a onesie. One. Hal Cunton wins the House of Games onesie. Congratulations. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scoreboard going into tomorrow's <laughs> final House of Games of the week. Hal, you have a four-point lead at the top there. Kerry, seven. Ebony, six. Radzi has 12. But double point Friday tomorrow, eight points for a win, six for a second, four for third, and so on. So you could still catch Hal there, Radzi. I'll see you all back here for the final time tomorrow. We're going to decide who wins that trophy. We'll see you all here as well on the House of Games. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to so regret that. Oh, am I?